On the previous video we left off with a full installation of Gary's Mod dedicated to the server being finished. Now I'm going to actually show you guys how to install the Bunny Up game mode on here. Um, since you're watching this on the YouTube channel probably, um, click this link to visit the channel homepage. Then if you want to get to the release thread on Facepunch you can click this link here that says game mod releases. But for convenience I'll also add the, the link to the video description. Now if you haven't read this yet, I suggest you do because it fully explains what's inside of the package and what else there is uh, next to the Bunny Up game mode. Now scroll down for the download section, which is right here. Uh, it might have been updated in the meantime, but for now I'm just going to pick the latest version from Mega. If you don't trust the release, there's always a uh, virus total. Um, there might be some false positives, but that's, um, I don't know, it's an issue with Chrome. Uh, I hope they resolve it soon. It's not doing it for me anymore, so that's good. Uh, well, once it's going to come up here, you can like, download to your computer. Special thing about Mega is that it downloads to local storage and then copies it over to your downloads folder. Well, once it's done, you can click show in folder and you, choose, you should see the release um, zip right here. Now, open that up, scale it so that you can still see the rest of your screen. Um, go to Game Modes, Flow Network, Call Game Modes, Flow Network, Bunny Up. Um, the first thing you have to do is drag the Start Server Batch file into this directory. Um, it contains the command line to launch the game. Uh, you can change the default map here, the amount of players even the tick rate, but I suggest you keep it at 100 for the best BHOP experience. Um, then you can close this. First, navigate to your CFG folder, where we're going to get the config file that's required for proper bunny hopping. It's in other slash config, and then just drag this one in here. Overwrite it. If you want, you can open it up. See what it looks like. Um, here you can set the name of your server. I'm going to call it this so we can actually see it in the list. Um, then here you can set the Google, uh, well, you can set the loading URL. I set it to Google by default so that you guys will know where to look. And here, if you uncomment this, you can set the fast EL. But if you don't know exactly how that works, I suggest you leave it like this. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube about how to actually set up a fast DL, so if you do want to do that, I suggest you check them out. Maybe I'll even do one, but not yet. Go back to the game mode directory, go to game mode, and then here go to game modes, create a new folder called bhop. Do not name it anything else, because it has to have the same name as in your launch batch file, as well as this text file right here. So drag all the contents in this directory, and that should be it for now. Now go back to the Gary's Mod directory, and now we need to do the database. I'll first do the, well this is the SQLite installation, so I'll only do the SQLite database, so you can ignore this folder completely. Click this folder, and drag in your SV for clean no MySQL server. Drag this to the root directory, and rename it to SVDB, like that. Now you'll need the essential files. This is only for a single hop map and it's more explained in readme.txt if you want to know more about it, but it's definitely required. Drag it in here. Now once that's done, we're going to go on with the game mode configuration. You can leave the zip file, you can close that. Um, open up the core.lua file. It's one of the most important files since it has all the settings and configurations. Um, this is the uh, the actual configuration section. You don't. You can change this here for the display name on the scoreboard. So we're gonna do testing my bunny hop. The game type. Do not change this. It's um, the same as your path folder name here. So keep it set to bhop. Server name uh, identifier, this is for notifications that you get in chat. You can set this to whatever you like really, but it's 
prefer to set it to your name of your server. So for example, you'd set it to flow network. Um, the identifier is how it's saved in the client side cache. Uh, make sure this is not a common name. So really name it anything you want. You can call it banana. And then the game type is for if you have multiple game servers so that the clients can distinguish between bunny hop and for example surf. Now your Steam group, if you have a public Steam group, you can set the URL to this here, but I don't have one. I don't want people to get pop-ups, so I'll just leave it blank. And the material ID is uh, set to flow. This corresponds to the contents, materials, this folder right here. Um, if you're going to change this for your FastDL, for example, you'll probably not want the name flow. But if you're just using it for your own or for whatever, or if you don't mind, you can leave flow right here and it should automatically work. Now, uh, that's that. You can still change the default model here. You can change the default weapon. These, I suggest you don't touch them because they're changed for proper bunny hop experience. Um, for the rest of the file, this contains most of the code. You don't need to change any of this. Now, next up is the core data file. It's right below. Um, since we're using SQLite, you don't need to change this. If you do want to use MySQL, you should check out the other video. Um, and I'll explain what to do with this uh, from there on. What you do have to change is you have to scroll down to SQL load no MySQL, this function right here. And you have to put your uh, Steam ID right here for if you want to set yourself as admin. Because we're using a clean database, you'll have to find your Steam ID and put it in here. Uh, when you've done that, you can close this and go back to this directory. Then double click this, click run, and it should launch your server. Um, or not, if you don't have the map, because it's set to be on auto badges. That's my mistake. You can also set it to GM Flygrass, it doesn't really matter much. If you do have the map, um, they go in here. Just put them here. You can see GM Flygrass is available, so we can actually change it to GM Flygrass. Once it's loaded, um, you have to go in game. I'm going to do that right now. When the game is loaded up, click Find Multiplayer Game, then click Local Network. Your bunny hop server should pop up right here. Uh, and we should get the name that we set in the server config. Now, I didn't set any password, so you can simply click Join Server, and it will connect. Of course, you get the beautiful loading screen by Google, unless you changed it. Um, and we have appeared in GM Flatgrass. Now, this... Um, you can see that we have the title, you can see it's working, you get the heads-up display, you get the connection messages. Um, but there's no zone, and the map isn't added yet, because it's a default map, and nobody really wants to bunny hop on this, since it's pretty fucking plain. Well, I'll have another tutorial where I will explain how to add, um, how to add maps, how to use the admin panel, because... Uh, with the, the operator ID that we just set, we'll now have extensive access to this. Um, it's a pretty complicated admin panel if you've never used it. Um, so I'll have an, an, an extra tutorial about that that fully explains all the functionality in there and how to actually use the game mode. But that's, uh, that's really it. That's all you need to play this, and um, I hope uh, you manage to do it. Thank you for watching.